hey you guys this is going to be a continuance video to the previous video that we've done using this 10 inch wig and this is the result after i styled curled cut and did everything to her and i'm going to show you guys how it looked before but if you definitely want to see how it looked before go watch the previous video and it will be linked below so since we're only working with a 10 inch bob you're literally using two and a half of the cups that come the scooper cup that comes with the powder already and then i'm just gonna take some of this 40v you know gotta have a good developer if you want bright color but if you were using blonde me which is supposed to be better than this and that's yellow like a golden yellow to get like nine levels with one process you could just probably get away with using a 30 but the key to doing this right is to mix it up first then add the water because one time i tried to add all three at the same time and it was a not cute so take it from me add the water after you make after you cook it up <clears throat> so add the water after you Go ahead and mix all of that together. This is the water added into the mixture. Please do not add too much water because you do not want to dilute it to where it doesn't turn as bright as you need it to. You just want to add enough water to make it so liquidy that it applies more all over to the wig. And also make sure you spread your wig, spray your wig with a little bit of water from the spray bottle, and that's gonna help lift the cuticle. And with the cuticle lifted a little bit, it'll help that bleach process into the um cuticle a little faster. So, that's so this is the wig after I, I I did it in my bathtub, so I literally just laid it out and combed some of the product majority of it through the wig. I brushed it through using this wig brush. And then I just circled the unit in around like in a bucket to get all of the rest of the stuff on it. So and you can see it's already turning, which lets you know that the hair is high quality. Yeah, you can see it already turning brown, which is letting you know that it's high quality. And I did spray the wig with some deep conditioner, leave-in conditioner, because I didn't have any water back here. But I'm just gonna put it in this Dollar Tree bag. The dollar 25 tree bag so this is the color after i let it deep condition it's the conditioner i use body wash the um ole body wash to condition it and when i tell you i can blow dry this hair with no products on it and i just wanted the guy you guys to see the color and as you can see it's luster it's beautiful it has a nice shine to it and that's just, it's silky, as you can see. It's not stiff. It's not stiff at all. It moves, it looks like real hair. It's a 10 inch. It's, it looks coarse. The, as you can see, some of the cuticle has raised, but that's just from the um, bleaching process as natural hair would as well. It obviously needs a good shaping, but this is just the drop draft. And the color is uh, beautiful. And as you can see, what I did, because as you can see, it's already like a strawberry blonde. But some of the hints up here are 613, but it's not like that underneath. So what I did was take some bleach. Because I had a patch up here that didn't turn like I needed to. So I mixed up some bleach. And what I did with the leftover color was just lightly brush it on top. Deposit it on top. So it adds some more dimension. But just on a top layer and not deep. So that adds more dimension to the color. And all around here is just very pretty strawberry blonde color. And that's just from the ring light. This is no iPhone. Well, my light might... This is an iPhone camera, but my lighting is on as well. And I do have the ring light in this color, y'all. And underneath is like a brown. So it's like the deeper you look, the more dimension that you get. And on the top, you have that golden blonde, almost 613. Like, that's beautiful. And this is a one process. So, yeah. So this is a great base 
for depositing color on top and we are going to use a semi-permanent mortar color method and it's whatever color lays on top is going to come out very pretty and it's going to be either like a rose gold pink color or like a blue a blue but i'll be back to show you guys the results and show you the watercolor method but this is pretty i'm thinking about doing a blue i did pink before oh i might just do the pink so i'm gonna use this color right here and i'm just gonna And, and the water is pretty hot, but spray from out the faucet. I didn't boil it or anything. And you just want to make sure it's mixed pretty good, you know. So I did go in with two more drops and just I'm gonna let it sit for a little second. And I am using this. And it's giving like a bluish green color, but I feel like it's going to come out cute. And I'll show you guys after I blow dry it out for the second time. Okay, you guys even though this color did not come out the color that i was expecting it to it still came out pretty beautiful and i like to roll with the punches as i go ain't no point of being upset because you can't go back and well you can't go back and change it but that's gonna take too much and some parts of the hair did turn the aqua color that's actually on a bottle but majority of it turned green and it's giving your girl swamp queen siren weed um easter grass because my grandfather said it looks like easter hair whatever that means so i'm just using my conair crimper and i'm not going to crimp the whole piece so what you're going to do is take a section of hair crimp it twice and then leave the end straight and as you can see the color is super beautiful y'all as you can see you get those um greenish blue tones to it and it does have the brown in it too so it does give ocean vibes which i guess is what we was going for anyway so i do get seaweed ocean vibes from this hair and yeah what i did off camera was i blowed her out I, I hot combed it and i trimmed the ends and i did all of that off camera because i did not need this video to be unnecessarily long like how a lot of my videos are and this is basically a bundle a full bundle and a half of a bundle a third of a bundle what's more than a half a quarter a quarter no have it it was a little bit over a half I'm off. It's 12 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. So that's how I decided to make it. So it's super light. It's still full, but not too full where you're hot. Because I know a lot of people perspirate a lot. So this is wig. It's not going to make you hot. And I just wanted to do something different from the average style, which you will see on here. So this is a 4x4 four four closure unit. I did do like a little braided mohawk off camera as well. And if you want to see me do some more crazy styles on closures, just like the video below. I meant to say, give it a thumbs up below in the description area. And like I said, I'm just using my Conair to crimp one time. Then I'm going to crimp again and leave the end super straight. And if you want to be extra, you can go in with the flat iron and flat iron the ends. And I did not put any product on this hair prior to styling it because I just want the crimps to be super light. And crimps is a style that lasts very long even when you, you don't use the hairspray to make it all crunchy it still lasts a long time and it gives the hair just some body something different because i didn't want it to be so flat considering that it's not 
more than two bundles. I still wanted to have some type of volume without being, even though it did have volume in its natural state, I just wanted to give it that. Mm. So I decided to do some crimps. And yeah, I am going to use the crimper as well to curl the baby hairs in the front. And you guys will see that. You just wrap it around a barrel like a wand and let the crimp part hold it. And it's going to come out curly, which is super cute. And yeah, you guys, this color was not the color that I wanted it. I wanted it to be like a real blue. But if I would have lifted it twice, because I only lifted it once, I would have got the color that I wanted. So I should have went in twice. As you can see right there, it's that teal blue right there. The color of that. That's what I wanted the whole wig to be, but it didn't come out like that. And I'm going to take my white rain spray from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to spray that in the roots because that's where your most volume will come from. So I'm just going to spray the roots and let it settle a little bit. And then I'm going to zhuzh the hair so it could get fluffy. And as you can see, there's the mohawk, the braided mohawk. And all I would have to do, I'm going to list this wig and sell it. And the only thing that needs to be done is the lace needs to be tinted. So as you can see, I'm fluffing the hair out, trying to get those crimps to be voluminous, even though they kind of already are. And as you can see, the hair is not so flat and it's giving drama, color, style. It's giving a little bit of everything which is nice considering i haven't done any like wig art projects in a while i've just been making one b wigs so this was a nice little fun creative thing for me to do and as you can see this color crimp style is beautiful it's giving rock star glam this is really pretty y'all even though this was a mistake and this was not what i wanted it still came out pretty pretty beautiful and i'm happy with it and this is hair provided by Unique Beauty. This is 10 inches, one bundle plus uh, more than a half, but not the whole full second bundle plus a closure. And it is in 10 inches, like I said. And all I did was make the wig, um, color it using the bleach bath method in my own kind of way. Um, I cut the ends, I trim the ends. I hate those scraggly ends on short hair. When you trim the ends, it does make a big difference. I noticed that. So trim your ends, you guys. And I just did a little mohawk, a different braid style. And I just wanted to show the girls that they can get different styles, even on a 4x4 lace closure. And you can still make it look like a frontal, long as your baby hairs are placed in the right spot. And yeah, you guys, so this wig was very fun to do. I will be doing more creative looks. And I hope you guys enjoy. This hair was provided by me. And remember, you guys, to stay unique and love your individuality. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.